morning guys we are just up for the day sophie was up so early and she looks like she's been into the giggle juice this morning yeah. <clears throat> no i drank juice so it should be me gabby actually slept in this morning which was good because it was such a busy weekend for us she needed it anyway we've had one casualty so far since oh, getting ruby like that yeah do you like it I actually saw somebody yesterday at the apple orchard who had her hair. She braided the sides and then she put it, the braids underneath at the back. And they didn't braid both. Yeah, they just, it's hard to tell. Anyways, okay, so our casualty. What was our casualty? Okay, you guys are picking through my hair. It's like monkeys. Like my family, my kids are like monkeys. We're She's like a, a monkey, monkey family. Okay, so what was our casualty since getting Ruby? Come here, Ruby. This is all about you. Help uh, and chewing. Yeah. So uh, she uh, was not potty trained. She's doing really well since we got her, but she's had uh, three accidents, and now we are minus uh, area rug. You crazy girl. You crazy cute girl. You crazy cute girl. Yes. You have to stop peeing in our house. Cannot happen anymore. She can't chew, but she likes to chew a lot. Yeah, she does. She chews and she pees and she barks. The people where we got her <coughs> oh, wait, I need told us that she does not bark, but this girl barks, doesn't she? She's terrified of everything. She has terrible separation anxiety. A lot of it is just her breed. And some of it is because she was rehomed. When you rehome your dog and you think it's going off into the sunset and going to live a wonderful life, well, some breeds are okay with that, but a lot of breeds and a lot of dogs never forget that they love somebody and, and they disappeared. Um, this is the... Yeah, that's Sophie's crop. That's a sign. Ruby's like, you should not be using a crop on your horse. These are just for play. They're not for real use. They said she chews leather. Yeah, and she does chew leather, which is why you cannot be sitting on the couch there, Miss okay. Ruby. Sneaking Good thing in behind she never you. chewed her couch. Mommy. No, she's never chewed her couch yet. Aww. Right, we are ready to start our day. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. I hope you guys join us this week for all the fun things that we have planned. I'm shooting three videos today. Uh, what happened to your dad's computer? Nope, not YouTube. He must have turned it black. Yeah. I like it way better because you can't see anything. No, that is weird. All right, let the school day commence. All right, you guys, I am freaking out. In yesterday's video, I said, okay, we're done actively searching for a horse because it's taking me hours and hours and hours every day and it's getting really frustrating. We're just gonna let it go a little slower. Our coach is looking, if a horse falls on our, falls into our lap, okay, fine, whatever, but I'm just not gonna look hundreds of hours every day. And then Sam sends me a link where a girl named Maya, um, one of our subscribers said that she would look for us and I was like, okay, go for it. Like, that would be awesome. She put an ad up on fa in a Facebook group for us and all these people responded with beginner horses and I'm just like, like I can hardly even breathe. Are you excited? So what is happening today? So my coach already like, saw him and asked about him for us. Well, so what happened was I messaged her and she said, um, I said we were interested and she said would you like to come and see him and we're like yeah we want to come and see him and then uh, so she said what are you looking for and I said actually the ad that you responded to was written for us and she said oh okay and I said you know we're beginners and we have a coach and we would be boarding our horse um, at our coach's barn and she said who's your coach and then I told her who our coach was and she said oh, okay because she already messaged me about him and then I'm like ooh so I don't know why Fiona didn't tell us or maybe she's gonna tell us tonight or I don't know I don't I know I just want to get him right now yeah you guys are already gonna know what he looks Even like he's 16 years old we're not gonna she's really yeah he's 16 like... years old uh 16.1 no hands high he is uh, registered gelding. appendix gelding, lots of trail and um, AQHA, show miles, very quiet and safe. The only problem about like the uh, what shot, color is he? Tell them what color is he. He's gray. Yeah, exactly what Gabby likes. He looks a lot like blue. <clears throat> anyway. And yeah, she says he has a really fast trot, but when Fiona was gone, we, um, did like fast trots with our horses. Shh, what when what happens when Fiona is away stays uh, in our head. <laughs> well, I have no problem 
with really fast trot. So anyway, yeah. So she said uh, she must know more about us after talking about our coach because she said that um, I don't know about his trot. It might be a little bit too fast for you. We'll have to just see. So we're just gonna have to see and we're gonna go and see him, you guys. We're gonna go and see him today. So I'm not gonna show you his picture. I'm just gonna video it when we go. All right, you guys, we are headed out. Sam came home from work early today because it's a special occasion. Again. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Well, yeah, coming home early is worth it when we're looking at a horse. Today I posted a video that we're not gonna look for a horse anymore and here we are looking at a horse. Hello. So this is, what did she say his name was again? Goose. Goose, this is Gray Goose. That's the bonus of me being a coach. Yeah. And a sales broker for horses, but. He's so pretty, he's so big. So he's 16.1 hands high. Yep, 16.1. And he's a gray? He's gray, yep, yeah, dapple gray. A dapple gray. Dapple gray. Yeah, so when he was younger, <laughs> he would have been dark. Gray. So when he was younger, he was darker, you said? Yeah, he was probably born almost black, or like dark, dark gray, and then they yeah. like dapple gray. Wow, that's cool, so, and he's 16 years old. 16 year old registered appendix. He's a quarter horse thoroughbred. Quarter horse thoroughbred. We were looking for a quarter horse specifically. Mm -hmm. So he's registered with the AQHA. He's done the show circuit of uh, the AQHA circuit. See? I know. He's very pretty. Look at his eyes, Gabby. Um, story on him. She rode him and had him for so long. And then she married a dairy farmer. And he doesn't like cows. So she had to sell him. Aww. But he's packed right now beside cows and doesn't seem too upset by them. There's only two of them, so I don't know if that matters. We'll just grab the gate behind you guys. Yep. You excited? Do you like him? Yeah. He's tall. He is so tall. Oh wow, that one down there is beautiful. Yeah, but Ben is way taller so she has, than him. She has 50 students. Yeah, this is a nice little cute little outside ring. Isn't it nice?
don't see that I just want you. You get me things, but I don't care. Be there is a place where we can go, where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know that I. Think. He was actually good when he got to know him. Yeah, so once you figured him out and he figured you out, it was better. At first, it was scary. Because <clears throat> he's like going into a canter, but his canters are really smooth. Are really smooth? Yeah. So, do you like him? Yes. Do you but think? I really want him more low than go for it. So, you don't think he's for you? Because he's pretty go, huh? You guys probably already know that, which we didn't know because we're inexperienced, but that's why we showed Fiona the video, but that horse was having lameness problems, some kind of issue while she was riding it. So obviously that horse is out, which we already knew it was out as soon as Gabby started riding it. We knew that he was too um, much horse for Gabby and we knew Fiona would tell us the same thing and she did. So I talked to Fiona about two things actually. I talked to Fiona about she has another horse that she wants us to look at. I'm just not sure he's pretty far out of town so we have to plan our visit there. But um, so that is one thing. So that's super exciting and she's excited about this horse. Also, I, I talked to Fiona about leasing horses throughout the winter like starting in November and she said absolutely 100% we'll have some, we'll be able to lease her horses. She just has to look at the schedule and we'll be able to resume what we had a couple of weeks ago with, she's not sure who we'll have yet. We might just have one horse to, to go through the winter with, but we might have two. So we'll keep you guys posted. All right, you guys, so many crazy things are happening today. We said in yesterday's video, we're done searching actively for a horse. And then we spent the whole day actively searching for a horse. It seems like we're not meant to stop. First of all, a girl named Maya, one of our subscribers, ended up putting an ad out for us. And it was really funny though because everybody that we know that knows we're looking for horses um, saw the ad and was like, hey, that sounds like, and then they thought it sounded like us, but then it wasn't our name, so they were kind of confused. Even our coach saw that ad. Anyway, so she put an ad out and then it just snowballed from there. I contacted a lady that had a horse um, from our area on that responded to the ad she put out and you've seen the footage we went to see that horse it turns out that that horse isn't good for us he's lame and he definitely was too much horse for us did you think he was too much horse for us kind of do you want that horse um no did you want him <clears throat> at first yeah she literally got off and was like yeah i want a horse that's more woe than go and we definitely do so then we went to the barn and all of a sudden fiona had like 100 horses for us to look at and talk about and think about and so there are a bunch of things in the works that we're going to figure out and then we'll let you know when it all goes down and we will let you know when everything is happening all right guys we're going to end today's video so comment of the day is from jc span okay so jc says I love, love, love your videos, and I think that there will come a time that a horse is for sale and be just perfect for y'all. And if this would get a comment of the day, I'll be one of the happiest things that ever happened to me. I chose her comment because everybody else is saying, don't get a horse. You shouldn't get a horse. <laughs> so anyway, I think I agree with her. I think that one day it's just going to happen. It's just going to happen, and I'm not, we're still not going to rush, and we're still not going to push it, but if somebody calls us tomorrow and says hey i have a perfect horse for you then we're gonna go and see it and hopefully it will work out anyway that's it for today you guys um thanks so much for all your support and all your kindness and all the people telling us that we're not ready for a horse 
I appreciate all your point of view. I appreciate yeah. everything you guys are saying and I'm reading your comments and a lot of the stuff I agree with. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye guys. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.